back with another segment on kind of what I carry. So, um, and again, this can all vary. So, I mean, you know, it, it nothing's set um, in stone. So, uh, it, it the ebbs and flows of kind of, you know, how long you're going to be gone for, where you're going. Uh, you know, those are some key factors, right? I mean, if you're only gone for two or three days, it's one thing. If you're gone for seven to 10 days, couple of weeks or whatever, um, you really need to think about what you're gonna take. And also just the weight of your load, right? Um, so anyway, so uh, part two of this is kind of like some of the stuff that I take. So um, I do have a head to toe uh, travel towel. Uh, a snug pack. Again, I got this from Moto Camp Nerd, uh, but uh, you know it it folds up. It's pretty easy. It's it's really uh, once you use it for your showers or whatever. Uh, you know, if you do find a shower, sometimes you might go a couple days without one. So, uh, but anyways, so it folds up nice and comfortable in here. Uh, dries easy. Um, very nice. You can hang it up. I've, I've hung it up on the mirror or the mirrors on my bike and it's dried out. Uh, maybe, depending on if you're in sun or some wind, it might be an hour or so, but it'll get dry. In worst case scenarios, this bag, you can put it back in here and it's mesh. You can leave it tied to your bag if you need to and let it dry kind of, you know, while you're riding or whatever. So uh, again, nice, nice uh, towel to have with. Um, get to a camping spot or, or early in the morning. Um, again, I have a, you know, headlamp. Um, so again, this is, uh, I got this from Amazon. Don't know the name of the brand, but, uh, anyways, there's smaller ones, you know, there's more compact ones. This one kind of sends off uh, light that you can see from outer space. So, uh, again, uh, but yeah, so, you know, I have a headlamp. Most people do take one because you just never know. Uh, middle of the night, dark, setting up tent, whatever, you need more light. So always have a headlamp. I, I would highly recommend that. This is rechargeable as well. Um, I could cover this off. I won't go through all my clothes because that's a, that's a whole different thing. But, um, but one thing I do keep is I have a pair of North Face, just, you know, a little bit of gloves, nothing bulky or whatever, just enough that if I'm in the spring or fall or whenever it's cold or whatever, and you just need a pair of gloves or something like that. I bring an extra uh, uh, neck gaiter uh, just in case, and then uh, a little stocking cap uh, uh, to keep you know keep your head warm and keep your body temperature or whatever. So again, little things that I carry um, to do that. So water-wise, uh, so I normally take this flask here. Uh, again, this is. Uh, uh, you know, a, a good flask for water. And it, again, depends on where I'm going. So stay hydrated. So I also carry, this, this is Moscow's, uh, this is their uh, two liter um, bag, Drummelite. And so I usually have these two things um, normally, especially when I'm doing a BDR because A, one, uh, you might need water to cook with. I'll get into that. Uh, and then second of all, just to stay hydrated. So uh, always want to stay hydrated when you're traveling and have enough water. I also have um, a water uh, in my, I usually use a backpack as well. So I have some extra water there. So to make sure I take enough of that. Um, little travel case, this is from Motor Camp Nerd as well. Um, I, you know, pack very light. Toothbrush. You know, toothpaste, obviously some deodorant. Uh, don't want to be too uh, too bad out there. Uh, some uh, shampoo, whatever you know. Like if you can find a, if you're at a campsite or you're whatever, uh, you're at a, you know, an event or rally or whatever. They have outdoor showers or whatever. So I use this. Don't shave too much when I'm out traveling. So there's not much of a shaving thing in here, but uh, uh, at least keep you know, brush your teeth. A little bit of deodorant. You don't want to smell when you're with your buddies or with another crew or whatever. So, uh, anyways, I use that. It's really easy. To hang up um, and you know go from there. So that's part of that. So I won't get into the food yet. So I pack this inside my 35 uh, liter Moscow bags. This is kind of a nice little bag because two things. One, I can pack my some stuff in here that's more around my camping gear, like for eating and stuff like that. 
Uh, but second of all is, if I'm out at a rally and I don't want to have my 35 liters on, this is a great bag to put some stuff in throughout the day while you're riding and fold it up and just strap it to the bag. So it really comes in handy. So first and foremost, so I have an extra pair of glasses in here because if I break my other ones, I have an extra pair of uh, glasses. I have some Coleman uh, light up sticks. If, you know, for whatever reason, I need to pop sticks there. I've got some uh, uh, dishwash liquid here, and then I've got some tick and bug repellent here. Um, so that gives you an idea of just kind of the, the little things that I carry in a, in a plastic bag in case they leak or whatever, uh, it won't get all over your stuff. So then I do bring some sanitizing wipes with me. So this way, in case, you know, you don't want to run out of your, use all your water, wash your hands, you're not close to a stream or something like that. Uh, and then I have my jet boil. And as you guys have probably, probably used one of these, but this is a, a great unit to have. So uh, again, really compact, uh, you know, and it's, it's multi-purpose. And uh, so I've got my jet boil here that I use as well. Um, Drop that. All right, so let me get this out of the way. So, a couple things I pulled out of here, so I'm going to go back to here. Bear spray. So, if you're, again, depending on where you're at and what you're doing, not a bad thing to have some bear spray with you. This should probably be attached to you somewhere or readily handily available to you. Uh, maybe not necessarily on you, but you gotta have it somewhere on your bike that's easy accessible because bear pops out in front of you. I don't think you wanna be digging through your bag uh, to get anything, right? So uh, these are a couple things, even though they're in the bag for storage now, but um, these are a couple of items that you need to find a place on your bike to store so you can have easy access to this. This is also an air horn. Um, not only is this for maybe emergencies to for somebody to hear you if you needed to but also if, if you don't have any bear spray air horn you know to scare the bears away and stuff like that so again a couple of key items depending on where you're at I throw this in here normally this is in one of my bags or whatever but this is a uh, you know a foot pad so you know I do have a bigger pad on my uh, kickstand uh, but if you're in sloppy, muddy, uh, need a bigger, you know, area for your bike so it doesn't tip over, these things come in handy as well. Um, this is a foldable little cup. So again, you know, not much, not big, but it's just enough that if you want to, you know, it's a cup and expands and then you can you know, I drink a coffee or whatever you want out of this thing. So, but it folds up flat as you can see. This is my spoon that I use. I don't use much else. This is pretty much it for my utensil. Um, and the reason why is because in my jet boils, I boil water and then I use these uh, uh, Mountain House Adventure Series uh, dehydrated meals. Again, breakfast skillet, Southwest style. There's chicken and dumpling. There's all kinds of stuff that you guys can get. There's other brands out there. But, and um, you know, I usually pack maybe three to five of those. Um, because you just never know. You break down, you're in the backwoods, you can't get out, or or you're not, not around food and you missed it and you forgot or whatever. It's always good to have, to carry a few of those things because you just never know. Most of the time, as you guys have traveled out there, there are spots to get food. You know, you do run into a convenience store or some little town and you're able to pick up something to eat or whatever carry with you. But I, personally, I would just recommend that maybe carry a couple of those uh, or some type of this just to make sure that you have something it does come in handy trust me it does come in handy so um, uh, and then I get into my little pouch here this is all kind of little knick-knack stuff but I get in here there's hand warmers I have a fire starter kit I've got waterproof matches uh, this kind of just you know again little necessities I have a, uh, maybe to use as a clothesline um, or an extra spare rope just in case or whatever, but I have a little bit extra of that. Uh, I have uh, 
not only the those things, but I also have a fire starter kit. So these things are already, all you gotta do is, you know, get a spark going with this. And uh, so this is from Bush Crafters, a uh, great tool. I've used this before. So again, if you wanna start a fire or anything, you've got some equipment here to start a fire. I have a military grade light. Um, this thing is, is, is pretty awesome. And um, so, uh, I have just a little tiny flashlight. You never know, at middle of the night, anything, you know, pops up. Yes, I have my head headlamp, but you just never know when you might need something else. And so I always carry a little bit of extra. Um, I also have, this is from Motor Camp Nerd as well. This is Sea to Summit. This is a little clothesline. I mean, it is a little thing, right? I mean, but this is a clothesline, so this is nice. So if you get to a camping spot, had a long day, you don't carry a lot of gear, you need your shirts or whatever to dry out, middle of summer um, or whenever, throw your stuff up here, to tie it to a couple of trees, you're good to go. So uh, again, that, that can, that, that, that's a clothesline. Not that I carry a lot, but anytime you ever need and these wipes are used for something else because you use those for cleaning your stuff up. If you go to places, and I've been to places that don't have any toilet paper, this comes in handy. So always maybe carry that little extra. I know this might seem a little excessive, but there's been a few people that probably see these videos that have ridden with me that needed good old life's journey of 50 to come up big. So uh, again, carry some toilet paper with you. Yeah, again, so this is kind of another segment on my uh, journey of kind of what I pack. Uh, it might seem like a lot. I don't think it is. I think it's, you know, some bare essentials because again, if you run into a situation where you're out in the woods, you're stuck or whatever, I've got fire starter stuff. I've got um, illuminated lighting. I have bug repellents. I got clean cleansing wipes. I've got a little bit of food air horn, bear spray, I got water, again, light, towel, and just some stuff, you know, for general um, personal hygiene and, and stuff like that. So again, gives you an idea, kind of just the bare essentials of what I pack and kind of where I go. And then obviously I use this, uh, this is a Moscow Stinger. Uh, this is the Stinger eight liter, I believe it is. Yeah, eight liter. So I use this to put uh, a lot of this stuff in here. Um, for when I travel, especially on the longer hauls. Normally, you know, three plus days, I, you know, I'll, I'll take a lot of this stuff. Uh, again, just depends on where I'm at. So hopefully this helped out. And then we're on to the next segment. So uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Again, like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Greatly appreciate it. Take care. Bye-bye.